Dear students, welcome to S. Math Guru classes. Our main discussion is second order differential equation with constant coefficient. Now we consider some interesting problem, very easy, very simple, and these are important for any engineering courses, BTEC courses, or BHC mathematics major also, major pass course, both. So uh, I hope you are all enjoying with me. If you are all enjoying, then please like this video. And if you are new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon also. Now let us consider one problem. Solve d square y dx square plus 2 dy dx plus 2 y equal to sine hyperbolic x. Now solution. Then this d square we write capital D. This is capital D plus 2 y is common. And this is sine hyperbolic means e to the power x minus e to the power minus x by 2. This is sine hyperbolic x. And d means d dx and d square means d square dx square. So this is capital D. So we convert in capital D. Now auxiliary equation m square plus twice m plus 2 equal to 0 and this is unable to factorize again you know by quadratic formula if we unable to factorize then if we unable to factorize ax square bx plus c this is the quadratic equation then x equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac by twice a we know this formula here using this formula m equal to minus b b means 2 plus minus root over b square minus 4ac this one a means 1 c means 2 by twice a this 2 minus 2 4 minus 8 this is 2 minus 2 plus minus minus 4 and this one 2 minus 2 plus minus twice i we get this and 2 common and cancel minus 1 plus minus i this is our m now complementary function this is imaginary we know this formula if roots are complex conjugate alpha i alpha plus minus i beta then complementary function is e to the power alpha x a cos beta x plus b sin beta x this is a formula if roots are complex conjugate alpha plus minus i beta then e to the power alpha x a cos beta x plus b sin beta x so this is alpha this one one is beta so complementary function equal to e to the power minus 1 x a cos x plus b sin x this is our complementary function next you have to find particular integral so particular integral p i equal to right hand side e to the power x minus e to the power minus x by 2 divided by this one d square plus twice d plus 2 and this 2 we taking outside e to the power x by d square plus twice d plus 2 and this is minus e to the power minus x by d square plus twice d plus 2 we get this and by rules of exponential function coefficient of x is 1 this one putting in place of d e to the power x 1 square 2 into 1 plus 2 
and this is minus x coefficient is minus 1 then minus 1 is here 2 into minus 1 plus 2 and this equal to 1 by 2 e to the power x this is 4 5 and this one 2 to cancel e to the power x by 1 and multiplying by half then e to the power x by 10 this is e to the power x by 2 we get this one now we have to find general solution general solution is y equal to cf plus pi complementary function plus integrating factor uh, in a particular integral this implies y equal to cf cf is this e to the power minus x minus x a cos x plus b sin x plus pi pi means e to the power x by 10 e to the power minus x this is minus x by 2 e to the power x by 10 e to the power minus x by 2 this is our final answer and this is the complete solution of the given problem consider this problem d square y dx square plus 4 dy dx plus 5y equal to minus 2 cos hyperbola x we want to solve this problem now solution is start here we can write d square this is 4d plus 5 y equal to minus 2 cos this hyperbolic this is e to the power x plus e to the power minus x by 2 we get this this 2 to cancel we get d square plus 4d plus 5 y minus e to the power x minus e to the power minus x we get this now we find auxiliary equation m square plus 4m plus 5 this equal to 0 so this is our auxiliary equation now we want to solve this equation this is uh, again unable to factorize this will be m equal to minus 4 plus minus 4 square minus 4 a c by twice a same problem quadratic formula we get this one minus 4 plus minus 16 minus 20 this is 2 minus 4 plus minus minus 4 and this will be 2 minus 4 plus minus twice i and taking 2 common and cancel we get minus 2 plus minus i we get this so roots are complex therefore complementary function equal to e to the power minus twice x a cos x plus b sin x is our complementary function now particular integral particular integral equal to right hand side by this minus e to the power x minus e to the power minus x by d square plus 4d plus 5 now we separate this minus e to the power x by d square plus 4d plus 5 minus e to the power minus x by d square plus 4d plus 5 we get this now this is coefficient of x is 1 this one e to the power x 
this coefficient putting in place of d 1 square plus 4 into 1 plus 5 e to the power minus x minus 1 square 4 into minus 1 5 and this is e to the power minus x 9 10 this one e to the power minus x 1 this is 6 this one 2 we get we get this one therefore general solution is y equal to cf plus pi complementary function plus particular integral so this implies y equal to complementary function we know this just putting this value e to the power minus twice x a cos x plus b sin x plus pi pi means this minus e to the power x by 10 minus e to the power minus x by 2 and this is the final answer very easy solution these are nothing very simple you consider this problem d square y dx square minus 6 dy dx plus 9y equal to 6 e to the power twice x plus 7 uh, e to the power minus twice x minus log 2 this problem is given now we want to solve this problem we convert in the d square minus 6d plus 9y equal to right hand side 7 e to the power minus twice x minus log 2 now auxiliary equation auxiliary equation equal to m square minus 6m plus 9 equal to 0 and this is m minus 3 whole square equal to 0 and this equal to m equal to 3 m equal to 3 wicket therefore roots are equal complementary function equal to c1 plus c2 x e to the power twice x because roots are equal this are complementary function next we find particular integral 6 e to the power twice x plus 7 e to the power minus twice x minus log 2 divided by this d square minus 6 d plus 9 now we separate this 6 e to the power twice x by d square minus 6 d plus 9 7 e to the power minus twice x d square minus 6 d plus 9 minus log 2 divided by d square minus 6 d plus 9 we separate this one now we putting the value of coefficient of x coefficient of x in place of d if we putting 3 here then we get uh, 9 minus 18 plus 9 this will be 0 denominator will be 0 if denominator 0 then we know this we multiplying this one by x and differentiating denominator twice d minus 6 and here we putting minus 2 coefficient of x minus 2 putting in place of d minus 2 whole square 6 into minus 2 plus 9 and here not exponential given we can write log 2 e to the power 0 x by d square minus 6 d plus 9 we put this now this equal to again if we putting 3 here 2 into 3 6 6 minus 6 0 again we get 0 again we multiplying numerator by x 6 into x square e to the power twice d and if we differentiate this we get 2 this will be 2 and here plus 7 e to the power minus twice x by 4 plus 12 this is 4 plus 12 plus 9 and this is minus 
log 2 e to the power 0 x coefficient of x is 0 e to the power 0 x means 1 1 into this this log 2 so putting 0 here 0 e square minus 6 into 0 plus 9 so this is cancelling we get 3 x square e to the power twice x plus this is x not d x twice x and 7 e to the power minus twice x this is 25 and log 2 e to the power 0 x means 1 by 9 we get this this is our complement uh, particular integral now general solution general solution is y equal to cf plus pi this implies cf means we know this this one c1 plus c2 x e to the power twice x and pi this 3 x square e to the power 3 x plus 7 e to the power minus twice x by 25 minus log 2 by 9 and this is our answer answer is c1 plus c2 x e to the power 3 x 3 x square e to the power 3 x by uh, 3 x plus 7 by 25 e to the power minus x log 2 by 9 this is the final answer so i hope you are all enjoying with me if you are enjoying then please share this video to other friends also and they are also enjoying with this type of problem so today i want to stop here thank you